Hola, soy señora Stevens. Today's lesson is called ¿Qué hiciste durante las vacaciones? What did you do in the holidays? Our learning objective is to use ER and IR verbs in the past or preterite tense. Pause the video and record your title. To begin with, we're going to do a quick listening activity where I want you to listen to me and decide which is correct, A or B. We're going to practice six verbs from our last lesson where we practiced AR verbs in the past tense. Okay, your first verb is I danced. Is it baile or bailo? Choose A or B. Number one, I danced. Is it baile or bailo? The correct answer. Baile. Number two. Is bailo we danced or he or she danced? Is bailo we danced? or he or she danced? The correct answer is B. He or she danced. Number three. You spoke. Is it A. Hablasteis or B. Hablaste? Number three. Is you spoke Hablasteis or Hablaste? Correct answer is B. Ablaste. Is ablasteis you plural spoke or B they spoke? Number four. Ablasteis is it A you plural spoke or B they spoke? The answer is A. Number five. Is we travelled? A. Viajamos or B. Viajaron. Number five. Is it we travelled A. Viajamos or B. Viajaron? Correct answer is A. <clears throat> and finally number six. Is Viajaron A. I travelled or B. They travelled? Viajaron, is it A, I travelled, or B, they travelled? Correct answer is B. Give yourself a little mark out of six. Regular ER and IR verbs in the preterite. With ER verbs, the preterite is formed by dropping the ER off the infinitive and adding the following endings. The pronouns are yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras, ellos, ellas, ustedes. And these stand for I, you, he, she and the formal you, we, you plural and they. So for the I pronoun, yo, you add I. For the you pronoun, tu, you add iste. For the el and ella pronoun, he, she, you add io. For the we pronoun, nosotros, you add imos. For the you plural pronoun, vosotros, you add isteis. And for the they pronoun, ellos, ellas, you add hieron. What does this look like with an example verb? So here is my example verb, the verb comer, to eat. So if I follow my steps, I take away the ER from my infinitive and that leaves me with a stem. My stem here is C-O-M. And to that, I am going to add my, infin uh, my preterite endings which are in the table on the left. 
So my verb comer becomes I ate, comí. You singular ate, comiste. She or he ate, comió. We ate, comimos. You plural ate, comisteis. And they ate, comieron. So we're going to practice just pronouncing these first. And it often helps to do it as like a little rhyme. So I'm going to start by reading the first three endings and then you copy. Then I will do the second three endings and you can copy. So repeat after me. Escucha, repite. Y, iste, io. Imos, isteis, ieron. And I'll say it again. I, iste, io. Imos, isteis, ieron. Now I'll do it with the example verb. Repeat. Escucha, repite. Comí, comiste, comió. Comimos, comisteis, comieron. Let's try once more. Comí, comiste, comió. Comimos, comisteis, comieron. Now pause the video and copy the text and the tables into your exercise books. Be sure to do the endings in a different colour or highlight so they stand out. With IR verbs, the preterite is formed by dropping the IR of the infinitive and adding the same endings as with the ER verbs. So as before, the endings are I, iste, io, imos, isteis, ieron. And here is an example verb, the verb vivir, to live. I lived, Vivi. You lived. Viviste. She or he lived. Vivio. We lived. Vivimos. You plural lived. Vivisteis. They lived. Vivieron. Let's practice saying these endings again. I'll say the first three. You repeat back. I, iste, io. Imos, isteis, ieron. Now let's practice saying it with the example verb. I'll say the first three, you repeat, then I'll say the second three, you repeat. Vivi, viviste, vivio. Vivimos, vivisteis, vivieron. Now pause the video and copy the text and the tables with the example verbs into your notes. Now let's practice. Vamos a practicar. Exercise 1. Using the rules that you have just copied down, translate the following sentences. There are six sentences and they get more difficult as you go from one to six. Sentences 1 and 2 are Spanish to English. These are slightly easier. However, I've given some helpful vocab in brackets in case you need a little bit of extra help. Sentences three and four are slightly more difficult. There's a bit more complexity to the sentences. And by sentence four, we're now switching from English to Spanish. Sentence five and six are the most tricky, but I've put some vocab into brackets for you to help you in case there is some vocabulary that you do not know. Pick your level of challenge. Maybe you can complete just the verb, translating just the verb, or maybe you can translate the whole sentence. It may be that just working out the rules to translate the verb and conjugate the verb is enough. But give yourself a decent challenge and see if you can uh, translate all of the sentences. Pause the video and see if you can complete all of the sentences one to six. So how did you do? ¿Qué tal hiciste? Número uno. Comieron muchos helados. They ate lots of ice creams. Número dos. Bebí limonada y naranjada. 
I drank lemonade and orangeade. Número 3. Escribimos muchas postales a mi familia. We wrote lots of postcards to my family. Número 4. I learnt lots of Spanish words. Aprendí muchas palabras españolas. Número 5. Last summer, you, plural, ate paella in Barcelona. El verano pasado, comisteis paella en Barcelona. Número 6. Last May, you, singular, ran on the beach in Malaga every day. El mayo pasado, corriste en la playa en Málaga todos los días. Give yourself a mark out of six for how you did. Well done. Buen trabajo. Exercise 2. Ejercicio 2. Vamos a practicar. Let's practice. Now that we know how to use the regular verbs, can you work out what any of these irregular verbs in the preterite or past tense mean? Número 1. Saqué fotos. Número 2. Jugué al voleibol. Número 3. Fui a la playa. Número 4. Tuve la oportunidad de nadar con delfines. Número 5. Hice muchas actividades. Pause the video, copy down the phrases and see if you can translate them. ¿Qué tal hiciste? How did you do? Número 1. I took photos. Número 2. I played volleyball. Número 3. I went to the beach. Número 4. I had the opportunity to swim with dolphins. Número 5. I did lots of activities. Give yourself a tick for each one you got right and a little mark out of five. Well done. Buen trabajo. Hemos terminado. We have finished. That's the end of the uh, instruction. Now go to the practice sheet in the assignment in Teams and complete the practice uh, handout. It looks like this. Exercise 1. Fill in the English. There are three tables, one of AR verbs, one of ER verbs and one of IR verbs. Fill in the English in the boxes provided. Task 2. Now fill in the correct verb endings for each verb and each person. You will need to use your notes from today's lesson and your last lesson. Exercise 3. Explain what you have to do to change a verb from the infinitive to the preterite. In your own words, explain how you take it from the infinitive into that past tense. And finally, exercise 4. How do you say? Translate the six phrases. Adios chicos. Well done. Buen trabajo.